A former area high school football star now at the center of the concussion debate. Michael Keck died in 2013 and now researchers are weighing in on what 16 years of playing football did to his brain. Michael Keck's rise as a football star was well documented. KNBC 9 News covered Keck as an all-state linebacker for powerhouse Harrisonville in 2006. We have talent here at Harrisonville, we always do, but I mean, it just depends on the work we do. Keck even made headlines on National Signing Day. After thoughtful consideration, I am choosing to attend the University of Missouri next year. Oh, yeah. Instead, Keck transferred to Missouri State and became a defensive leader before a devastating head injury. He retired from the game in 2011 and died two years later from a congenital heart defect. Keck's brain was studied to determine if he had chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. The final report was published Monday. Doctors found clumps of abnormal TAU protein in his brain, one of the hallmarks of CTE. The same report says Keck suffered 10 concussions, all while playing football, the first happening when he was just eight years old. Keck wasn't sent to a hospital after any of these. Keck had a 3.8 grade point average in high school. He left college with a GPA of 1.9, 12 credits short of earning his degree.